How's it going everybody? I'm Newbie Dave and welcome back to my Let's Play Minecraft series. Before we get started, I was coming over here to get rid of this guy when I noticed he sells some mangrove propo that word. These things. He sells these things. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, I'm going to buy some of those because I have not actually found a mangrove swamp. This is, I guess it's not my first 1.19 world. I played around with a couple uh, before starting this series, but really just to see what the new world generation was like. And I never did actually find any mangroves, so I'll buy a couple of these. And <laughs> I'll do something with them later. Yeah, later. <laughs> um, let's throw them in here for now. So today, I would like to make a lot of people happy by finally getting some diamond armor. <laughs> yes, we are finally going to upgrade our armor, hopefully, to diamond. I remembered that I've got two armor smiths in my villager trading cliff over there. And uh, I need to start trading with them. Let me bring... Let me bring some obsidian and a flint and steel. I'm going to build a temporary uh, nether portal over in my villager trading area place to make it a little bit easier to get back and forth. Hopefully 12 is enough. Let me think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I think 10 is the minimum. I can never remember exactly. Off the top of my head. It's a full beehive. I haven't done anything with bees. I need to get some bees. Wow, this is not going very smoothly <laughs> getting over there. Oh, oh, oh. First, let's stop by the iron farm. I went AFK at my iron farm for several hours. Let it run for a very long time. Got loads and loads of iron. But I did notice, much to my dismay, that some golems were spawning out here on the bridge. So this should be really easy to fix. I just need to lower the leaves. Uh, so look at this. I've got a full stack of iron blocks. Yeah, that's nine full stacks of iron ingots. So yeah, we just need to lower the leaves by one block because if all the leaves are at this level, then the golems shouldn't be able to spawn. Eh, is that what I want to do? I don't think that's what I want to do. I think what I would rather do is just put some leaves at this level for like these first four or five rows and leave the rest of it at this height. Because I actually like this little canopy at this height. So let's do that. Let me go grab a couple more leaves and we'll just sort of fill in those back few rows where the golems can spawn because they're not spawning on anywhere on the bridge. They're just spawning like really, really close to the iron farm. So we just need to spawn proof those first few rows. So we'll do this and we'll do four rows just to be safe. I don't think they can spawn any further out than that. And maybe we'll do something like this to kind of round it off. Yeah. And maybe to make it look a little bit more intentional, we'll just throw a few more here or there like that. And maybe we'll go really crazy. We'll do a couple on top here. Like this. That way this thing looks a little bit more like it grew naturally rather than somebody putting all these things there. Yeah, that should do the trick. That should keep the golems from spawning up here on the bridge. When it does happen, 
it's very, very rare. It doesn't happen a super ton of the time. This thing ran for hours before the first one spawned up there. But when they do spawn up here, they stop spawning in the farm. They stop dying, and so you have to go take care of them. So it is something to be aware of. Also, because I built this thing over the ocean, <laughs> I do get the occasional uh, squid. Not a whole lot, as you can see, but I, I like to do this with my collection chest so that everything goes in a proper spot and it's not just kind of random stuff all over the place. And I had this whole thing filled up with iron, poppies, and string, and so the ink sacks were like stuck in the hoppers and not coming out. So it's something else to be aware of. All right, let's head over to our villager cave over here. Oof, oof. By the way, I've, I've switched to bread temporarily because <laughs> I was trading with my farmers. No, I was trading with the villagers in the iron farm to try to lock in all their trades. And I misclicked on one of them and traded all of my emeralds for bread instead of just one. And so I got like two stacks of bread. Whoops. Um, of course I didn't bring a bed with me. So let's start by building our temporary little, uh, this thing. Nether portal. Nether portal. Man, I need some coffee, you guys. Now, this might link to our other portal at our base. Not not the one at our base, but the one in the nether that's linked to our portal at the base. Yep, 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 yep. It did. That's kind of unfortunate because we can easily build another portal in the nether that's closer to that one that will link the two. But we need more obsidian to do that. So unfortunately, that's the last of the obsidian that I have right now. So I'm just not going to worry about it. Uh, let's grab this bed. I also wanted to grab some vegetables i forgot to bring some vegetables with me i think i have vegetables in the uh i thought i left a chest of vegetables oh no you know what i think it's in my in my villager trading hall i have a bunch of vegetables for the sole purpose of trading with the farmers for emeralds but i think i left them all in the villager trading hall so um I'm not going to bother with my field for now. Let's just grab a stack of each of these. And we'll head over to our villager trading hall, see if we did indeed leave a bunch of vegetables there. And if so, we'll grab those and bring them with us. I don't think I'm going to be breeding any more villagers at the villager trading hall. <laughs> that would be pointless. I don't think I'll be breeding any more farmers at the villager trading hall. So we don't need crops over here. Oh boy. Yep. 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 So let's just take this whole chest with us. This thing is doing great. I think I probably bred 20 or 25 villagers before I got my first nitwit. So that's really, really good. Because I think they have like a 10% chance of coming out a nitwit. All right, let's head back to our villager trading cave. Again, this location for the villagers is temporary until I can decide a more elaborate villager trading hall place, which I don't have yet. What? What are you guys? How did you get out? That's bizarre. I wonder if it has something to do with the placement of the bed near the fences. 
But these guys... That must be it, because this dude's like clipped through the fence a little ways. Interesting. Interesting. Something to consider. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to fix that right now. <laughs> but let's start by trading with these guys. That's awesome. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we've got some issues with this <laughs> location. <laughs> Things we need to fix. Wow, I'm glad I got that gate there. Why are you... Is it because you get up in the morning and you get stuck here and can't reach your composter? So you're not refreshing? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about this. Reiterating the fact that this whole area is temporary. Right, let's put all of our crops in here. I'll throw my extra bed in here as well. But what I really want to do is start trading with these armorers, which uh, I need coal. I forgot to grab coal. Let's head back to our base again. Oh no, we need to make sure the villagers don't come through here. I need to put up a fence gate in front of this thing. Now that they're roaming around, Let me see, do I have a fence gate in here? Yes, 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 yes. That's good. All right, so I'm just gonna bring a couple blocks of coal. We'll turn this into coal, coal. Yeah, that should be plenty. Hmm. Trying to think what we can do with our villagers to keep them from popping out through the fence. That's really odd. They should be able to stand up on the fence, on the beds. So I'm not really sure why they're clipping through the fence like that. Maybe I just need to do a solid block instead of a fence for the bottom. Or, or, let me think. First, let's protect that. Let me try this. Let me lower this whole thing. Like that. And then, when we put this fence here, hopefully he won't pop up through the fence because he'll be a little bit lower. He'll pop up like onto the block that the fence is on. I don't know. I'm, I'm making all this up. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before, so not quite sure how to prevent it. All right, let's get you in there. Oh, I really want these guys to go to their little cubby holes now rather than all scattering to their beds at night because their beds may not end up being the same little compartment with their job blocks. Oh, sorry. Though to be fair, that was your fault. All right, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's start trading. So I'm gonna trade coal until I unlock iron. And then we'll head over to our iron farm and grab tons and tons of iron to sell to these guys. I did some, I zombified them at least once and cured other villagers near them when they were still back in the villager trading hall. And so their prices are already reduced, but even without reduced prices, I think it's like four iron ingots for one emerald, which if you have an iron farm, that's just 
so easy to do. So I'll grab two sacks of iron to bring with us. And whatever is left over we'll throw into that chest. Alright, where'd you go? Yes. And I'm actually going to just sell as much iron as I can to unlock as far into his trades as we can get. And then I don't have lava. Like I, I have lava and diamonds. I'm not going to sell those because that's a really dumb trade, especially when I can get unlimited emeralds. So let's just buy a couple shields to unlock expert. And now we can buy diamond leggings for one emerald. And I'm going to do this a couple times so that we can unlock his final trade, which will be diamond chest piece. Oh, and he's all out of diamond leggings. After three? Really? Really? I mean, I'd, we could like do some other trades. It's just at, at level four, it's such a small amount of experience you get from it. Uh, I think I'm just going to wait for him to refresh his trades. Let me dispose of some of this. And we'll switch our attention to this other guy. Let's do the same thing. Oh, he's also selling legs, leggings. Um, let me see what his uh, master level trades are. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. They're both selling the same thing. We don't need two of these guys that are selling the same thing. So we'll keep one of them and the other one we will gently make him go missing in the middle of the night. Hey, what? Where are you going? Oh, all right. You can't get to your... Well, look what we have here. Somebody with no place to go. I don't actually know if that was the one. Yeah, okay. That's the one that we traded with. <laughs> I couldn't remember which one we had traded with. I was hoping that they ended up going back to the right spot. So hopefully this will keep them in a little bit better. For these other ones, well, no, I can go ahead and I can wake them up and move this stuff around. Get in your bed. Go. Get. Are you kidding me? hate villagers so much. Where are you going? This is your bed. Thank you. All right, you're good. Get back in bed. Get back in bed. Go. There's not. Oh yeah, there's. This guy's bed is left behind. All right, go back to your bed. This is your bed now. Go ahead. Where do you go? There. Okay. And I think we've got one more. Again, I have no idea if this is going to work in terms of keeping them from popping out through the fence when they wake up. But we'll see. Go to bed. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> you would like to. Okay, that looks better. Let us sleep. And see what happens to our villagers in the morning. That looks better. <clears throat> That's better. I think what was happening was they were waking up and ending up trapped between the bed and the fence. And because they're villagers, they couldn't get out of that spot. So by lowering their bed, now they end up on the bed instead of in between the bed and the fence. Oh yeah, we've got this guy we can sell stuff to, like stone. Yeah, let's do this really fast, get some more emeralds. The irony is we have to sell emeralds to get emeralds. Boy, if that doesn't have capitalism written all over it. Yeah, it's looking good. We can sell granite, stone. That's going to be a good trade. Uh, can you? Oh, wow. You really jacked up your prices there. <laughs> I think we're going to wait for that to go back down. Uh, can we sell to these guys? Yes. 12? Ugh. Let's put some of this stuff away. Our iron we'll keep in here until we need it. Um, actually, I'm going to bring this iron with me because I'm going to roll a new armor in the villager trading hall. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get one that sells the helmets uh, and the, the boots. Uh, you I have traded to recently. You need to refresh. Why aren't you refreshing your trades? And you, why aren't you refreshing your trades? Go work, you lazy bums. I tell you what. All right, we'll put those things back. And... Let's go this way to get back to... Well, hold on. Um, we don't need that top piece anymore. So over here is going to be a blast furnace. I'll bring this with me to do my trades. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and go back. I need a lava farm. I want to build one so badly. There's just so many other things I want to do all at the same time. And I have to decide what am I going to work on today. And right now it's getting my diamond armor. All right, let me put my clay away. And we'll put our diamond armor that we've gotten so far in here. I guess we've got a diamond chest piece. But still, I want the villagers that sell them. All right, and then let's head back to the villager trading hall. And we'll see if we can get some armorers that sell helmets and boots. All right, so who is going to be our first armorer? Hopefully, our only armor. Um, uh, question is, do we zombify him to get his trades, his prices down first? I think we do. I think we have to. Uh, we need to lock him in first, because if as soon as we zombify him, he's going to not be, like, no one's going to be bound to this, and so he, we're going to get someone else. Yeah, we'll lock him in. Get a minecart. Let me go make sure that the the switches outside are flipped in the right direction. Because I was sending all my villagers out to my iron farm last time I was over here. So we'll send them through here. By the way, these cats. <laughs> they've been pretty much useless. <laughs> I, I got exploded by a creeper standing right over here. And I think it's because the cats were in a hole and so the creeper couldn't actually see them. But I moved them up and a creeper was standing over there and started coming at me. So I backed up and he just ran right between these two cats and just came right at me. So 
The cats aren't quite fulfilling the purpose that I had hoped they would. Alright, let's push you off. Let's get you in a minecart. And we'll send you off outside. Need to check that my game difficulty is hard. I th Whoa! Very quickly. Okay, yes, it's still on hard. I think I switched it over to easy at one point. Wow, why did he just... Why did he go flying over this? That should have acted as a break and stopped him. Hmm. What you doing to me, Minecraft? Pop. And cure. And I think one cure should do it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and send him back in here just so that him being cured affects all of the other villagers in there. Hopefully these babies have enough smarts to not not go over near the zombie villager. But who knows with babies. Or villagers in general, I mean. You know what I should have done? I should have broken this so we didn't get another villager that binds to it. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. In fact, actually, let's do that because now by curing him, his prices will get reduced. I don't know if it will reduce their prices if they don't have a job. So let's just throw down a couple others. Get multiple armorers. Multiple discounts. And then once he cures, we'll trade some coal to unlock level two where we can start trading iron. And I don't care about the enchantments. I don't care about the enchantments. The enchantments you get from these guys usually aren't that good anyways. I just want free or really, really cheap diamond armor. That's all I want. After we get the armors that we want, I'm going to roll some toolsmiths and we can hopefully start getting some diamond shovels and axes and pickaxes and stuff like that. All right. That, I can live with that. I can live with that. Uh, did it cure everyone else? Not cure, but, you know, get their prices down. Eh, a little bit. It's not huge, but it's a little bit. All right. Let's start doing this. One, two, three, four. Lots of iron. Oh, pants again. Yeah, helmet. Is it worth it? Do we want... I would much rather get helmet and boots from the same guy. What? <laughs> the baby villagers pushed his minecart back out. Sorry about that, bro. Let's go ahead and let you out. Uh, okay. Let me... Either way, I'm going to need to roll another... Another armor. Because he's not selling boots. So let's see what our second armorer gives us. If he's willing to cooperate. Don't you get in that minecart, baby. Don't you get in that minecart. So let's zombify this guy. We'll get his prices down. Again! They're just cruising right over. I wonder I wonder if having two uh, powered rails right there is giving him enough momentum to get over that. I don't remember if I had two there before. I had to rebuild it after the creeper exploded on it. I've got some more apples back at my base. Not golden apples, just apple apples. I'll bring those over here at some point. 
Let me check his prices because I think the diamond armor, since I've only, no, it's only one emerald. That's good. I wasn't sure if it would be one emerald by only being zombified once. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to need some more coal, so let me go get that really fast while he is curing. <laughs> I had this whole plan for starting on my next build once I got my diamond armor. Uh, the naivete of thinking I would get what I wanted from villagers the first time around and it wouldn't take... The entire episode. I was a fool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these apples. Well, they need to be golden apples. I'm not gonna turn them into golden apples right now, so I'll just wait. Eh, I mean, why, why not? Why wouldn't I turn them into golden apples right now? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to come back here for them. Um, how many golden apples is that? 42? Or how many gold ingots for six apples? What? It's eight times six. Oh, 48. Guys, <laughs> I, am, I am so bad at math on camera. I don't know what the deal is. I'm so good at math in real life, I promise. I was almost a math major. My first freshman semester in college I was a math major because I love math so much <laughs> and then I realized I want to do something with math not just do math so I became an engineer something about being on camera just makes it so hard oh right <laughs> of course there's monsters nearby I'm like where are the monsters are they outside is there one out the window I'm not going to hold on to a bunch of chain link helmets, so. I heard the whoosh. All right, now let's sleep. And let's see what we get from this guy. Pants. Pants again. And helmet. Man, they love those pants, you guys. Pants and helmet. Um, if helmet is the master level trade, then boots are going to be the expert level trade. I didn't need to trade with him to unlock master. Um, all right. You. Go away. All right, let's get one of these other guys <laughs> who sat here and watched this whole thing happen. Is this the right approach, you guys? I don't know. Should I be zombifying the villagers before I know if I'm going to keep them or not? Get back in there. Oh, go away. You think I can't get more of you? Let me see. 
I've only got 16 iron left. That's enough to get him to expert, but only one more time. So if this guy doesn't sell boots, we're going to have to go back to our iron farm for more, more iron. In the coal, I'm wondering, since I'm getting so many emeralds, I'm wondering if I should start trading emeralds at the novice level instead of coal. Even though the coal rewards more experience. like 50% more. Ugh. But emeralds are endless. We've got an endless supply of those. Coal's actually useful. Even after I have a lava farm and I can use lava as fuel, I still use coal for a lot of stuff because it stacks. Also using it for campfires, torches, lanterns. Coal's very useful. Don't want to throw it all away on these guys. Oh my goodness, so many armor iron chest pieces. And oh, you know what I should uh, I should have my mending pickaxe equipped while I'm doing this. All this beautiful XP just going to waste. Boots! We got boots! Let's go ahead and unlock it. Boots and helmet! That's even better! That means... <laughs> we don't need you! That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, let me go flip this lever. So we send this guy back out to the villager farm, villager trading hall thing. That's what I meant, not farm. Uh, let's see, I gotta put all this stuff away. First, let's get you loaded up. Oh, and don't need these things anymore. We do need one. We need to bring one with us. You know what? I'm going to leave these emeralds here for future trades. Oh, don't even think about it. I saw you. I saw you. Uh-huh. Yeah, for future trades, because I'm going to come back and do toolsmith, weaponsmith, other guys that we're going to need to trade stuff to unlock their higher level trades before we decide to move them out into our villager trading hall. Look at that. I'm faster than a minecart. And more error prone. <laughs> Gotta stay near this guy so he doesn't stop simulating. Four rockets left. Those are all my rockets. You can see why I'm trying not to use them up very much. All right, bruh. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to bind to that. You're going to go to your spot. You're not going to give me any troubles. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Get in there. Nope. Not that one. That, that's, that was on me. My bad. Get in your spot. Oh, I've still got my weakness arrows and golden apples on me. All right. Let's wait for him to move. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. 
I can hear you say, I can hear you typing the comments right now. I can smelt those down for iron ingots. Guess what guys? I have an iron farm. I don't need a few random iron ingots from iron chest plates. So just chill. Okay. Uh, you should be ready to trade again. Let's get you up to master. Why? Oh, I ran out of iron. Oof. That shot up. Um, let's just do this. And now, protection. Ooh, unbreaking two. That's actually a pretty decent chess piece for one emerald. That's awesome. And you. What are you going to give us? Boots. We need the boots. And now we need to get up to the helmet. Uh, we're out of emeralds. Let's go. Let's go get some more iron. Although you're not buying iron right now. You're all ironed out. It'd be nice if you just turned around and worked. You lazy bum. Come on. That's all right. We got to go put some of this stuff away. Are you? Nope. You're not buying stone yet. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> iron. Ooh. He's, there you go, thank you. And Splodoosh, Unbreaking 2. That's pretty decent enchantments on these things. Projectile protection, I can live without. It's not super great, but Unbreaking on these two is awesome. I don't even know what we got on our legs. Protection, it's, you know, it's better than projectile project protection. So that's good. All right, so let me put these things away for future visitors. We'll put that for future trips out here. I need to head back to my villager breeding farm area. I'm going to take the train. To put this stuff away. And I'm not going to worry about the toolsmiths or weaponsmiths on camera. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do those off camera. Uh, get them moved over into that area so I've got them. And that way I don't have to do yet another episode of you guys just sitting here watching me roll trades on a bunch of villagers. But that is what I'm going to be doing. So I at least wanted to show kind of my process for this thing once. And then we'll head back to our base and see what enchantments we can get for these things. We need feather falling. That's really all I care about on my boots is feather falling. Eh, it'd be nice to throw uh, unbreaking on there as well. We've got protection four on our iron leggings. I think the diamond ones have protection too. That's good for the dragon fight. That's why I got that was because the dragon breath bypasses your armor. But I think the protection enchantment reduces the effect of the dragon breath. So having that on there is good. Uh, let me see. I need to drop off my minecart. And then we'll head back to our base. Come on, horsey. Of all the stupid names I've come up with in this game, <laughs> I actually like this one. <laughs> horsey. It's my horsey. Stay away from the skeleton. Stay away from the zombies. Look, horsey, it's your brother. got enough random animals sitting around my base all right so we got protection two on our leggings let's go take a look through our enchanted books we've got 27 levels we got a ton of levels from trading with those villagers that may be my xp farm for now uh let's see feather falling i would like to find feather falling with something else because I want to take projectile protection off. Fire protection? 
Mm, and it's good for going to the nether. But I plan to upgrade all this to netherite, which is better, I think, than uh, fire protection. Really, I'm just looking for protection and... Oh, there's fire... Okay, okay, okay. Fire protection 3 and feather falling on our boots might actually be really good. So yeah, I'm looking for protection and unbreaking. I don't think I actually have much unbreaking. I think I've kind of used what I had already, which wasn't much on my tools. Projectile protection four, don't care. Feather falling four and fire protection three. That's the same one we've got. Depth strider. Ooh, I forgot about some of those other boot enchantments is there anything else on here knockback riptide power four i think i don't think i care about any of those other enchantments so maybe we'll take that for our boots as well oh look at this depth rider four three protection four. Oh, but it's got efficiency four i'm probably going to want to use that for the efficiency on like a pickaxe or axe or something so i'll take the other one for depth rider Protection four, there's a good one. Protection three, some of these, don't I have protection? No, they're just protection two. Okay. I was hoping maybe I could just upgrade it. Protection three. I could upgrade, put two protection threes on one of these to get protection four. Uh, Aqua affinity. That would be very good on our hat. You know what, I'll unenchant my diamond boots and then see what I can get on the enchanting table. There's protection four, that would be good. Blast protection could be nice. There's a lot of protection books in here. Respiration three, nice. Yeah, my hat is coming along. Although these are boots, so that's for my helmet. Let's see what else we got. Protection three, projectile protection, blast protection, respiration two. I mean, maybe having blast protection on one of these wouldn't be such a bad idea. I'll go ahead and grab it. Depth Strider three. I think we've already got that. Feather Falling Respiration, although those are for different items. <laughs> uh, I think we may... Ooh, Mending. Mending, Mending, Mending. What are we going to put Mending on? Let's go ahead and grab it. Probably my boots, because I use... I take a lot of fall damage. And I don't remember, but I feel like that affects your boots more than your other armor. I could be completely wrong. Probably am. Okay, so that's all the books that we've got. So let me unenchant my boots and see what we can get on the table. Fire protection, not really that crazy about, although that's what we're gonna get with our feather falling. So we could, well, no, we don't have enough levels for it. Um, what do we get with that? Fire protection three. <laughs> so we could take our chances with this, cost us three levels, and see if we get feather falling four as well. And maybe depth strider. If we can get either one of those in addition to this, then it just might save us some levels. That's even better. That's even better because we didn't have unbreaking from any of those books. And now when we combine it with this, we'll get fire protection four. Oh yes. I'm going to go ahead and do that before I try to enchant anything else off the table because I don't know how many levels this is going to take. All right. So that is going to be five levels. 
if we add depth strider it's going to be six so that's going to cost us 11 levels we've got enough levels for that i'll kind of hold off let me see what else we can get um let's try our diamond leggings i don't want to unenchant the other two since they've got unbreaking two. Oh, you know what you know what i didn't even think about this let's buy some more and combine them to get unbreaking three. Oh, hey i've already got a diamond uh helmet with fire protection three respiration three unbreaking three mending aqua affinity okay um our helmet's good <laughs> we don't need that Let's see what, what yeah, let's get another chest piece. Was that you? Yeah. And then we'll slap these two bad boys together to get unbreaking three. for three levels, not too bad. I mean, honestly, the chest piece is kind of the least significant one because I wear my elytra most of the time, except if I'm fighting a big boss or something. Uh, all right, let me see what we can get on our legs. Hopefully unbreaking. I need some unbreaking on these. Fire protection. Fire protection. <laughs> Fire protection. Unbreaking one. What about level 30? Because I can go get some more levels if I need to. Fire protection. Unbreaking one. You know what? It's better than no unbreaking. I was about to say, if it throws like projectile protection on there as well i would be so mad all right we'll just do that we'll do that all right let's go slap some books on these you again Ooh, ooh! for someone running out of rockets buying a couple gunpowder sounds like a good idea i actually might just keep you around Because I think he should ref to, Oh, I don't know. I'll have to go look that up. I don't remember if Wandering Traders refresh their trades or not. I feel like I tried that once before and it didn't work because they don't refresh their trades. But we'll see. All right, let's throw Respiration and Blast Protection 4 on our... Whoa! 14 levels? Oh, okay. And then Feather Falling for five levels. We might be out. We've got one level left, guys. <laughs> okay. So my pants are going to have to wait. Oh, I didn't need to do the helmet. Why didn't somebody say something? You should have stopped me. Nah, that's my own fault. All right. I'm going to do some AFK fishing between episodes and get my levels back up so we can finish enchanting my pants and my chest piece. But that's going to wrap things up for today. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit slower pace than my other episodes. We didn't build anything, but we got a lot of good work done. And as you can see, finally wearing some diamond digs, loving it. So yeah, thank you all so much. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. And while you're down there, feel free to subscribe so you'll get notified of future episodes as they come out. Thanks guys and have a great day.